Hey everyone, Shea Bear 1000 here. Today I got a couple of my die cast cars I want to share with you. Um, they're mostly Corvettes, but I got another cool one here too. Um, little story, backstory on these cars I'll get into here in just a second. I've had a terrible toothache and it's been storming for the past four days, so I haven't got many videos out. Um, I want to do some more uh, fishing videos. Monkey got me a cool fishing rod. I want to try it out, but again, it's been been storming off and on every day for like four days. So, anyway, I thought I'd share these with you and show you my little my little car show. Um, they're kind of cool, so let's get into this and check out my cars. Okay guys, so <clears throat> I'll show you, I've got, I've got four Corvettes here and a Bel Air, okay, so I'm going to start, I'll start with the black Corvette, this is a 1957 Corvette, uh, I think this one is a China Yeah, this one's made in China. I think three of them are made in China, or four of them. I'll, I'll let you know here, but I know which ones. Okay, so. I'll show you the engine. There's the engine down in there. Looks like that would be probably a 283. Hood comes up and the doors come open. And then I'll show you them all sitting down here together. This one again is a 1957. Yes. These are uh, 124 scale. This one again is made in China by Welly. W E L L Y and this one doesn't say well I'm not sure what what this one's made what company but they all pretty much look the same um, like this one has a little more detail in the black one underneath of it you can see the dual pipes and the cross frame there same way with this one but it's just not as detailed as much underneath um, but the engine is uh, painted up a little more and again the doors open on this one and of course you can see the wheels are different license plates on them they need cleaned up but I keep them in the garage and I keep a paper towel over them it's my little my little car show uh, let's see there's um, the dash in there looks like this one may be a four speed and let's see let's show you the dashboard on this one it's not as pronounced in the gear shift I don't know if it's not as, you know, this one kind of looks more like a gear shift. I don't know if you can see it in there, but um, this one's just kind of a piece of metal or plastic sticking up. This one is cool. I like the paint scheme on this one. Um, it's got the same wheels as the white one. But this one, they will turn. This one's made in Italy, I believe. 
I think it's uh, Barango. Nineteen fifty-seven, one twenty-four. Yes, this one is made in Italy. So as you can see, the underneath of it, you know, it's the the pipes are separate. They're not built in like these ones, like this one. You know, it's just kind of part of the the molding. And this one, the pipes and everything are separate. They're in separate. Of course, you got your. Okay. And this one has the same engine. I can't remember. I don't know if these would be 327s or 283s. But I had a 57 Chevy four door uh, hardtop Bel Air. I had that in 1987 and it had the uh, 283 in it. Now, this one, I don't know why, but see, this one's got the same dash in it and everything is the white one see the, the same gear shift and all that so this one's made in Italy and this one's made in China yeah. um, but this one the doors I don't know why they don't like to stay closed all the way and I'll show you but the engines look the same. This one, the yellow one's a little more shiny. Like the black one, it doesn't have the chrome on the engine. It just got the chrome on the uh, on the intake there. And this one's just all all silver or gray. And this one, this one's a le little bit better. I can read Chevrolet on the valve covers, but this one's chrome. It's not painted. So, but yeah, that one's Italy. Now, I got this one here. This is one of my favorites. It The wheels doesn't turn like this, but they just turn, you know, like that. We'll start underneath it here. And again, it's just molded. Uh, who's this by? I can't read it. Jada? J-A-D-A. -A. This one's made in China as well. 124 scale again. This is a 1956 Chevrolet. It's got the dual pipes in it. And this one's missing the hood ornament. I can't remember if the hood ornament was on it or not. Okay, so these was her dad's in her dad's collection. He had a lot of these. And um, Monkey asked me if I wanted any of them. But there's a bunch a bunch more um, like pickup trucks. They're Fords. Most of them are Fords. And um, and I said, well, I'll take you know the Chevys. And then the rest of them we're going to give to her grandkids when they get older. Uh, you know, old enough to take care of them better and stuff, you know what I mean? Because they're still young right now. Um, so, but this one does have a V8 in it. It's not real intricate, but it, it does have, I do see a distributor, radiator cap, and generator. So this would be the 283 in this one. And this one also, the trunk lid opens up on this one. I like the wide white walls around here and of course the doors open I like this being the convertible so yeah that was nice of her to let me get some of them cars and she said whatever I don't whatever I don't want she's going to give to the boys so I said well that's that's fine with me because I'm, I'm a Chevy guy. I'm not a Ford guy. But there are some nice ones. Nice ones in there. Um, so the boys will be... It'll be nice for them to get them. And then I have here a 1953 Corvette. 
Now this is pretty cool here. Um, it's got the the pipes, the dual exhaust. Now as you can see, the dual exhaust looks funny, and I'll explain that to you here in a minute. See the pipes are separate; they're not molded in. Um, and it's got the uh, you know it's got the rear end in it, which would have been a one wheel peel. It wouldn't have been positive track. And this one, as you can see, the wheels do turn on this one. So that's pretty nice. This is made by Ertl in, uh, from China. Uh, they also make uh, models, like glue together models. Now this trunk looks like it should open, but I couldn't get it to open, so, but it might not. But the doors do open. Now this one's bigger. This scale, I don't know if it says the scale on it, I'm not sure. Uh, it doesn't say. This is the 1953. We'll get the hood to open up here. And it is sporting the six cylinder. That's why the exhaust looks the way it does because in a six cylinder, a straight six like that, um, if you wanted to exhaust, you had to split the manifold. The exhaust manifold so you could run dual exhaust. So like like you could um, split it like where two's running out one side and then you got four running out another side, which is kind of like a tuned exhaust. Uh, most guys will just split them in the center. You know, you got three running out each side. It just depends on how you wanted to do it. But that's why the exhaust looked like that. And I like the gear shift in that one. Looks like a you know, regular gear shift. Which that, that could have been a, a, a three speed. But I'm guessing this would have been the four speed. It's got the three carburetors on it, which would be uh, three deuces, I believe, which would be three two barrels. But, yeah, this is pretty nice here. I like the way that's got glass over it. Well, plastic, but simulated glass. This one has a base, I'll show you here in a second, which has a plastic cover, but it got broke. Um, yeah. Uh, monkey dropped it and then something fell on it and so that's why the windshield is like it is right there in this that mirror you got to be real careful with but this this is the, the cover for it. so I still keep the cover on you can buy these covers I just haven't got one yet so um, let me get this all straightened out here and I'll show you my little collection. I know they need clean, but like I said, I keep them in, I keep them in the garage. But I just have a um, a paper towel laying over top of them, except for the blue Corvette. Um, it's got this on it. So, but that's my little tiny car show. Um, like this, you can see a lot of imperfections in the paint. Well, I think it might be the casting, like right in there, you know. But they're still nice looking models. Model cars. And I really appreciate them. And like I said, they were her dad's. He really liked them, so. And now I'm enjo enjoying them. Okay. Well, now. Let's see. I like the way. I forgot to mention. The window looks like it's, you know, but yeah, it's pretty neat. And here's where the exhaust came out on these cars. Um, I would say this was supposed to be supposed to be like a um, in the wide white walls, like maybe a custom car. Um, but there are some like let me see. Like, like these ones, um, a lot of times the exhaust would come out the back bumper there. But yeah, I, I, 
I like the color of this uh, 56 here, this middle layer. It's very nice. The convertible. You can see it's got the horns. Little round things on each side of the horns. Uh, nice intricate on the uh, the um, radiator there. And, uh, the grill and the parking lights are square. So yeah, it says 1956 on the license plate on the back. All right, so let me get you down here and I'll show you my little collection. My little car show, I call it. <laughs> Monkey said, oh, that's cute. <laughs> well, it's my little car show. And then uh, I'll, I'll sign off. So hang tight and I'll show you a view of it down here. I got it on this red velvet looking thing here. So hang tight. So there's my little car show guys thanks for watching hope you guys are enjoying your weekend and enjoy what's left of the weekend i'll see you guys in the next one shea bear the myth the man legend I'm gone for now we'll see you guys soon bye bye and take care